Regardless whether is it a home that is born in period 8, 9th March was clearing my WhatsApp messages when I chanced upon this uh, historical conversation that I had with one of a lady who wanted to select a home and she applied some feng shui considerations into it. So basically, her question is... Ding. So the answer that I gave back to her is... Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you look for a period A or period 9 home. Why? The external forms to activate the facing star for wealth is more important. The mountain to support the sitting star for health is more important. So as even though you can buy a period 8 home, because period 8 ends in 2024, task is only for four more years. A period 8 home also has a facing star 9 and sitting star 9. And if those star, these two star nines are in sectors which is supported by water and mountain, in fact, your home is already in a auspicious for the next 20 years throughout period 9. So, you can have a period 8 home, but as long as the stars 8 in its sectors are supported by water and mountain, in your period 8 home, you have your period 9 stars are supported by water and mountain. If your period 8 home has stars 1 supported by water and mountain, right? In fact, your, that home is auspicious for 60 years already. So that's the key thing about the importance of having external landforms to support be it the facing star for wealth or the sitting star for health. So, in a nutshell, regardless whether is it a home that's born in period 8, period 9, period 1 or any periods, each home has its auspicious periods when it is supported by good external landforms because external landforms like this matters and contributes 70% to the feng shui whereas internal land internal features only contribute 30% so hope this video has uh, added some value to you and I'll see you guys soon